In this short video, you're going to learn how to use states in Storyline. States are a way to change the look and feel of an object in Storyline. So let's get to it. So I've put together this little scene. Let's say the outcome for this slide is that learners will be able to determine the difference between something that's recyclable and something that is trash. So ultimately, the activity will be that we're gonna have the learner drag these objects, the apple and the fry container, over to their appropriate bin. But for now, we're gonna add a different state. I've already changed the state on the apple. To use states, you click on the object like this, and then click state. Now you can see the hover state that I've added. The hover state is an enlarged image of the apple with a label of apple. I'll show you how to do that with the fry container. Remember, the first thing I need to do is click on the object, and then click on state. You'll notice the fry container only has the normal state. We want to add a hover state. Now, I've already copied the objects I want on the hover state to the clipboard. So the first thing you do to add a state is click on edit state. Then you click the new state icon. Here, you can name the state whatever you want, but I'm going to click this down arrow to show you the options that are here. You'll notice these built-in states. So built-in states already have some triggers attached to them. You won't notice them in the trigger section, but for example, the hover state will change to the hover state when the user hovers their mouse over it, or the down state will change if somebody pushes their mouse button. So for this example, I'm gonna select hover. You can see that it added the hover state. Now, all it does is duplicate the normal state in the hover, but now we can change it however we want. So remember, I've already copied what I want on the hover state onto my clipboard. So I'm gonna delete what's currently there on the hover state. To do that, I'll click the fry container, then I'll just press the delete button. Now for this example, I'm just copying something off of my clipboard, but you can make any change you want. You could change the color, the size, add a text box like I did here, highlights, you can do anything you want on the state. But for this example, we just enlarged the image and added the text box. And when you're done editing the state, you click done. Now let's see what we did. We'll preview this. Now you can see when I roll my mouse over it, it changes the hover state. That's it. That's how you change states. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if you want more practical tips to improving your learning strategy. Looking to bring a real change to your team's learning and development? Then you need Legacy Learning Consulting. We're all about creating custom learning strategies that truly make a difference. Whether you're aiming to boost team performance or enhance leadership skills, we've got you covered. Dive into what we offer by visiting LegacyLearningConsultingLLC.com. Start crafting your team's legacy in learning with us today. That's LegacyLearningConsultingLLC.com. We can't wait to work with you. Schedule a time to discuss with Jason in the episode description below.